Hi everyone, Lady Bosch of the Craft Atelier, Angela's here. I have the wrap up video for my Gelfling series. So I have them all here. Um, it's been a very long journey <laughs> to say the least. Um, I, I checked the very first video that I ever put in the playlist, which was just talking about the Gelfling world and Jim Hens's world of Thra and where the dark crystal came from, all that kind of stuff. So that very first video was February of 2022. So it is now July, 2023. <laughs> That's kind of mind blowing um, that I've had the motivation to keep going on this. You know, it's it's a niche thing. I mean, not everybody knows Dark Crystal or no, not everybody likes Dark Crystal or what have you. Um, so yeah, to me, I like this. Um, so that's why I just kept going with it. Plus Cave Club, it's up there. It's probably, you know, up there with my second, it's probably second to Monster High, uh, which is like my favorites. So yeah. Uh, it's up there. I really love the, the flat feet. I love the, the tiny proportions of the body, but the big calves and the big feet and uh, the big heads. <laughs> so I just love their aesthetic and they're so cute and so tiny. And if you watched my last video, which was of this girl here, I accidentally said hobbits. I was literally thinking of some kind of analogy I was gonna say that had something to do with Lord of the Rings and it Hobbits came out. I only heard it after I rewatched it. <sighs> after I, I already edited it and everything. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever, it, it's whatever. <laughs> but um, it's very hot right now uh, in the house. So our power went out yesterday. Uh, I heard the transformer boom it was when I was working. It was near the end, so I just was like, fuck it, I, I'm not going to worry about it. So, um, yeah, uh, I want to go through all of them, and hopefully you guys enjoy. And uh, just kind of going through just my process a little bit. So, my very first one was... Uh, I think it was him. I think it might have been uh, Mash Deal, maybe. Yeah, I think it might have been Mash Deal. Uh, because the story was a little uh, switched around. But here's my seal. He's the Spriton clan. So basically farmers, uh, flat lands, um, uh, very far south. So obviously uh, hotter, if it, you know, that kind of thing. If you were to look at the, the uh, maps and stuff of Thraw. But I really like how he turned out. I did a lot of experimentation, um, just keeping his hair very natural looking. Oh God, I freaking love him so much. But they all have their um, sigil, at least somewhere in their character, uh, whether it's embroidered somewhere or, or something like that. But um, yeah. Oh. He's, I think he's the only one with facial hair. Yeah, he's the only one with facial hair. But uh, yeah, I really love how his accessories came out. I was really pleased with him uh, when I first did him. So still pleased with him. Um, I really like his backstory with his little vest. It was one of those, um, oh, what do you call them? They have a name for them. Basically a fizz gig. I think that's what they actually call them, fizz gig. Uh, but yeah. I really liked how he turned out. So he gave me motivation to do the second one. So that's my steel. Um, there we go. Maybe you can, there you go, dude. Don't fall over. All right, here's this girl. This is Duna or Dewdrop. She's from the Sifa clan. So she is uh, from the seafaring clan. Uh, she is a soothsayer. And um, she's got her little, her little headdress thing. Um, got piercings. I really did like the piercings, so I gave most of them piercings. The last couple, I don't think I did. Um, and that was just because uh, on the last one, I couldn't 
I smushed her ears, so I got fed up, so I didn't do it. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I really like how she turned out too. I love her little hair. But her hat is permanent, so I hat glued it on. And um, yeah. Oh, I didn't gloss her eyes. That's probably for, for photos. That's why I probably didn't do that. Which is fine, because you can see her eyes better. But she's got that little smirk going on. And her sigil is actually right here. So I tried to embroider it with uh, some beading. Um, it might not have been the greatest, but yeah. I like how she turned out. I like her blue. Uh, the blue signifies uh, her, her, basically her, her soothsaying ability and that she's very good at it. So, and she's the one who actually gets with Mashtiel uh, along the way, she has this vision and she needs to, um, some sort of prophecy. She needs to go and, uh, find this girl called the one, or it's not a girl. They don't know it's a girl. The one. So it'll change Thra and all this stuff. And it'll, you know, if they figure it out, they can, Thra will prosper for like a thousand years or a millennia or whatever it is, which is whatever, <laughs> what it is. But um, so those two were my very first, which was awesome. And then my third one, this guy right here, this guy is probably, yeah, he's probably my favorite out of the, the guy Gelfling. So this is Gil, or, uh, I believe his full name is Gillian. So he is a Drenchen and he actually is the only Gelfling that has gills. So he has developed gills due to where he lives. He lives in the swamps and um, yeah, he's got gold. I really liked the gold flakes. He's got scars. Oops, here. He's got some scars here. Um, yeah, I love how he turned out too. I love his freckles, just oh, his hair too. I really like his hair. Just very natural texture. Um, he's a warrior. They're uh, drenching are a bit bigger. Uh, so they are uh, very formidable um, warriors. So there's that. And I do like his uh, hair here. I did give him like a, like a buzz cut on the side. Gave him some side burns. <laughs> But uh, yeah, his his sigil is actually on his chest underneath his armor. So there's that. Um, but yeah, so I like how he turned out. There's a story about his spear. Oh, my steel. Oh, goodness. Okay, there we go. So yeah, um, I really like how all of those turned out. My fourth one was the one I was most excited about. She is like, I don't know if she's my favorite anymore, <laughs> but she was at the time. Um, so this is the one. This one is Smidgen or Smidge, and she has been tainted by uh, the darkness. And you can see there, I love her ears because they're downturned and none of the other ones are downturned. Um, she's got big eyes, big ears, because she lives, uh, she's a Groton, so she lives in the caves, so she's better equipped for, for dark lighting, that kind of thing. Um, her dress is, you know, pretty tattered, but she does have her sigil, it's right here, there we go, um, she has her her little armor here. Uh, she is a lot like a farmer, uh, but she is more of like a shepherd, more like because she she gets certain things from these animals that live in the cave, and they're sort of like bats. And it's what they make is like flammable, <laughs> so it explodes. And so uh, she's got some war wounds and things like that. But you can see her, um, I don't know if it'll focus or not, but I really like how her face turned out at the time. 
Um, actually, I still do. Now that I'm looking at it again, it's been a while since I've actually looked at them again. But um, yeah, I really like how she turned out. I mean, her little hair, you know, she's got moonlight uh, blonde hair. Uh, she's got some, oh, yeah, there we go. She's got some little, like, tinctures and stuff for her animals. Um, yeah. But, yeah, she is the one because she basically touched something she wasn't supposed to, and she got the darkness. And this is, like, evil just spreading from the dark crystal, and uh, it's infected her. And she's seen where if you're infected, nothing goes right. Everything you touch is like horrible. So she leaves her people. And so she just leaves. She doesn't want to be around um, infecting them. And that's where we're at. I mean, she left uh, the caves. And the others are starting to form up and to get into groups trying to find the one and uh it's her actually so yeah i do love her ears though even though i could have done better with them i think her downturn ears are super cute i think she's probably the cutest out of all of them just with her big eyes oops i don't know why i put her so far away um but then i did my last few so i did them in, kind of in groups so I did these three in a group and then I kind of did her off to the side and then the last three I did as like sort of a group because I tried to tried to get them all in within a timely manner. So the first one was this guy. Not my favorite, but um, my idea was from the beginning. I was going to do him in the beginning, but I just couldn't get motivated. But this is Taran. He is a Stonewood. So Stonewood is... Uh, basically right right outside of where the Skeksis castle is and the Skeksis usually use them for like castle guard um that sort of thing so yeah I mean I his hair is still really floofy but um yeah his sigils on his front it's this little triangle doohickey thing Whew, hair all over the place trying to tame his hair didn't work as you see the bump meh whatever um but I really love how his armor came out because I made him with like fake uh fall leaves and I thought that was really cool because you know he's a stone wood um they have like uh stones wood metal that sort of thing that's kind of their their gig he's got uh shoes he's got some shoes got some viking wraps on his legs going on um and then his uh his little rucksack there but yeah I mean he's got a little scar I don't know if you guys can even see his face I don't know if I can probably not but if you watch the video you can see him a little bit better um I like how his ears are big I had to make them big because his hair is freaking huge but I like his almost Asian aesthetic, his eyes, if you see, uh, probably not that well, because I glossed them, of course, but I started doing his eyelashes down, and I really loved that effect, so I really love how his face turned out, and again, all the Gelfling don't have eyebrows, because they just don't, they don't have eyebrows, they have possibly like brow bones, but they don't have eyebrows uh, in, in that sense, so... I'm going to just leave him face down because otherwise he'll, he'll topple over. Sorry. And then we have this girl. This is Nassimi. When I did her, I was really excited because I got her done fairly quickly because I didn't have to do her hair. But she is the Doosan. And she is like in their clan. She's like right under the, the head lady. So the Al Madra. Um, and she does like prophecies and things like that. And yeah, I really, really love her, her, uh, desert color palette. Um, I just, 
I loved her face though. Her face, I, of course you can't see it. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm so fed up with this autofocus BS, but, but yeah, if you go back and you see her face up, it's, oh, it's so fantastic. Again, downturn eyelashes on this one. I wanted to her to have like a sleepy look because she does dream fast, uh, more so than the others. Uh, she, it's almost like a spiritual thing for her. Um, but she's got the big headdress, um, and everything. And yeah, I really love the Doosan. The Doosan are very elusive. I mean, they live in the desert. They don't, they do a lot of sign language with, which they call voyeur. And, um, it's because they, you waste water when you talk. So, and water was precious to them or is precious to them. So yeah. I really like how she turned out, to be honest. She's like, she's almost like the mother, motherly uh, type of the group, you know? Um, so I really like that. Again, these two get along very well. You know, Soothsayer and um, Dreamfast are alike. But yes, she left because she uh, had like a, a vision of this prophecy of the one. So she left. And she met up with Taryn, like, almost right away. And um, then we have my last girl that I just finished yesterday. Uh, here we go. And this girl is very much different from the rest. Um, she is from the Vapra clan, and this is her sigil. I did a little wonky here, but that's okay. <laughs> um, she is a, uh, her name is Layfla. I know it's really weird, but they do have weird names. It's Layfla. She is uh, a, one of the ladies in waiting from the the major Olmadra. So the Vapa clan is like the elites, I guess you could say. Um, the nobles of all the clans. And it's the capital uh, called Harar. And uh, yeah, she's one of the ladies in waiting uh under the all madra sort of thing. So that's kind of what I went with in my story for this character, but they're very much pale. They're very much almost Nordic themed. Um, almost, if you know, um, Underworld, I think it was what the third or fourth one where they had a different uh, coven in the North and they were all kind of like white hair and pale skin. It's sort of like that. That's kind of what I had envisioned for them. But their colors were like pale blues and pinks and just very airy. And so that's what I went with, with her face up and her ears. Of course, the ears we're not going to talk about because they're just not my greatest work. <laughs> okay. They're not great. I had to redo them like three or four times. All right. Different uh, mediums and everything. So I was just like, I'm over it. But uh, her hair turned out okay. I, I really like how the, the pale blonde and the purples come together like that in the back. Um, it does feel, since I did it with alcohol, because this is pastel and I just uh, did an alcohol rub on it so it would stay. And then it doesn't stain her, the doll or anything now that it's, you know, the pastels have been locked in. Um, but it does feel kind of like cotton candy. <laughs> so there's that. Um, First time ever doing it, I just did it on a whim. I don't know if I heard it somewhere or something like that, but um, yeah, if you don't mind the texture, I mean, you, I guess you could put in some conditioner or something, but I just didn't. I want her hair to be kind of floofy. Um, but yeah, see-through, she does have underwear on. Um, she's got little, <laughs> little fur things right here, just like um, Duna does, but yeah. I really like how she turned out. She's very almost aloof. I, I try to give her that aloof expression, just like, you know, just looking down on people almost, but she's very nice. I mean, she's kind of very airheaded, <laughs> um, which kind of makes sense being up there in the mountains and stuff. But I give her a little crown because trying to take away from the fact that these parts I didn't spray because of the hair mask. <laughs> We're not going to talk about it. Like I said, I was losing motivation with this one, <laughs> but, um, yeah, 
no, her hands are in here and stuff. Um, I don't know if you can, and I gave her the four fingers. So yeah, but she does end up meeting Smidge. So I don't know. Here, I'll, I'll bring him up. Uh, yeah. So very much different, but very much the same. So she's a bit more red, <laughs> but I, I did th that for her to give that impression that she was kind of wind chapped from flying um, in the cold mountains. So hopefully that came across, even though I didn't explain it uh, in the video. But no, I really like how they all turned out. Um, I was talking to Meg and in the comments and, oh, please stay. And she was like, I love how they all look really different, but it's like an adventuring group. And I was like, yeah, it kind of has that D&D &D vibe. <laughs> so, you know, all these different characters come together and, um, you know, just try to, try to save the world. That's really what it is um, against all odds, right? Uh, but yes, she meets her just randomly in the forest because she went north for some reason. She didn't know where she was. She was just walking. Um, she didn't know who she was. She just kind of pointed, you know, this is the direction for this and that and this. Bye. And then she just left. So she didn't know who she was at all. She didn't know about prophecy. She did read about a prophecy but she was like ah oh, this is just a myth so she didn't pay any heed to it but i do have if anybody wants me to i have i have a little you know i don't know if it's a backstory or just a little bit of a, a story conclusion about like how they all get together finally, how they figure out what to do and then go from there. Um, it kind of leaves off where people can make up their own minds as what happens, um, whether it's a good ending or bad ending. So if you want me to, I can actually put it on Instagram. I'll write it up and put it on Instagram if anybody wants to read it. Hopefully, uh, it'll let me write all these words. If not, it'll be two parts. Um, but yeah, I would really like to share that because I wrote it. Um, so yeah, I would like to conclude that on Instagram for them if anybody wants to see it. So just let me know. Hopefully you guys have gotten this far. I know it's a long one. I'm very sorry. Um, but yeah, they are going to go up on the shelf and going to be displayed. I don't know if I'll get rid of them or get rid of them, um, have them for sale at all because I would want them all to be, you know, sold as a group. And I, I don't think I'm ready to, to part with them um, for anything less than like, you know, a pretty extravagant amount. And I mean, if somebody wants to pay that, then that's fine. But um, otherwise, it'll just be in my own collection <laughs> for a while until I'm ready to, you know, get rid of them separate. But I don't think that's going to happen. But... Yeah, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Please let me know which one is your favorite because I don't have a favorite. <laughs> um, if anything, it might be her um, just because she's, you know, the one that I kind of gravitated towards anyway. But all the rest of them, I, I really enjoyed making. They're all so different. So I, I enjoy them in different ways. <laughs> so yeah, just tell me which one you like best. And that's it for me, you guys. Um, I probably won't be on for a while. Uh, I will be still interacting on Instagram. But um, yeah, I've got some things to do. And once I get the go ahead, I will let you guys know what's happening here at the Crafty Atelier. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.